Cervical screening is a personal and sensitive topic. Initiating an open and respectful conversation with all people, no matter their sexuality or gender identity, is an important step in encouraging a patient to participate in screening. This video has been created for healthcare providers to highlight and address some of the barriers to cervical screening experienced by people who identify as lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender and gender diverse, and or intersex. In this scenario, we meet 28-year-old Sarah, who has a same-sex partner. Sarah? Yep. The consultation is underway, and before Sarah leaves, her doctor asks about cervical screening. Okay, hey Sarah, just before you go, are there any other issues or concerns you wanted to discuss today? Uh, not that I can think of at the moment. Okay, should I just see if you're up to date with the cervical screening test? Uh, that's what we used to call the pap smear or pap test. Uh, no, not for today. Uh, I'm okay, but thanks anyway. Are you sure? Can you remember the last time you had the test? Uh, look, I don't really like talking about this, to be honest. Um, the last time I had the test, I had a bad experience so I actually avoid having it. Oh, Sarah, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Would you like to tell me a little bit more about what happened? It was a few years ago now, but I had the test and afterwards when the doctor found out that my partner was female, she was quite abrupt and she said that there was little point in her seeing me if I wasn't having sex with men because it was highly unlikely that I would get cervical cancer. I was shocked and embarrassed. Since then I've, I've been totally confused about whether or not I even need the test. I mean I've had sex with men before but only a few times and I mean that was a long time ago. <laughs> I've avoided bringing it up with doctors because I, it means I have to talk about the fact that my partner's female and I find it awkward and you know doctors often assume things by saying you know do you have a husband or what contraception are you on and it's really frustrating. Sarah, that's really disappointing. I'm so sorry you've had that experience. But it's really important to know that cervical cancer can affect anyone with a cervix, regardless of their gender identity or what their sexuality is. And so that includes people with a same-sex partner and those who are gender diverse. Sometimes it just takes time to find a doctor you can trust and have a good rapport with. So at this clinic we see lots of patients who aren't necessarily open about their sexuality or gender identity, and those who are. Um, but our, our staff try really hard to make everyone feel welcome and comfortable, okay? So I'd like to tell you a little bit more about the cervical screening test and why it's so important. Is that okay? Yeah, that'd be great, <laughs> thanks. So we now have a new screening test which is used to prevent cervical cancer. It's much better than the old test in that it looks at the cause of the cell changes that lead to cancer. We look for something called the human papillomavirus or the HPV virus, which is usually the cause of almost all cervical cancer. Mm -hmm. And this virus is often spread through genital skin to skin contact during sexual activity, and that includes female to female sex. Okay. So 
What we now know is that that virus affects almost all people with a cervix at some point during their life. And so we ask that if, if people have ever had any sexual activity, be it with a man or a woman, that they have the cervical screening test. Okay, right, well that's eye-opening. <laughs> Thank you for explaining that to me. Uh, I would like to have the test today if you still have time. Yes, Sarah, that's great. Can I ask, is the new test done the same way the old test was? Yeah, with the test itself we use a speculum and we uh, get a sample of the cells from the cervix. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, great. So can I ask if you've ever had any abnormal test results? Uh, no, not that I can think of. Okay, great. So before we do the test, there are a few other questions I, I'd like to know about your sexual health. And it's just important for me to know those details so that I can offer you the best care and advice. Okay, Sarah, are you ready to have the test now? That's great. If you'd like to follow me over here. Thank you so much for today, I really appreciate it. No problem, Sarah, see you again.